We humans have to make countless decisions during a typical day. Even now, while you're watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out what kind of person I am or whether you should stop watching me or continue, besides many other possible issues. Our consciousness is quite limited in terms of resources to pay full attention on each and every decision that we make. So our brains generally use shortcuts to make decisions and continue with the next available problem. This is obviously a time and energy saving approach, but there's a little catch. Most of such unconscious decisions are wrong, especially if the problems at hand is about something quite complex, like another human being. In our everyday life, we encounter countless occasions that we should draw a conclusion about the appearance, thinking patterns, or behavior of other people around us. Since they are very complex beings like ourselves, we cannot gain all the necessary information about them, and naturally, we use quite obvious clues to draw a conclusion. And most of the time, our thinking and decision circuits in our brains try to cover up our lack of knowledge about others by mental shortcuts or prejudices. There are a large number of pits that our minds may frequently fall when making decisions about others. For example, if we find a person beautiful, we tend to think about him or her more positively. Conversely, if they have an obvious negativity in their appearance or behavior, we tend to expand this impression to the whole character of that person. As primates, we generally prefer people who look like us or talk like us, and our brains always look for stereotypical information instead of unique personal features. All these judgments are processed by our unconscious mind, and we generally do not aware of these processes. As a result, we do not analyze in general. We look for familiar cues, and when we detect them, we reach an immediate conclusion. Well, obviously this is not good. In natural settings, such snap judgments might save our lives. But in today's complex social interactions, these kind of old habits may create serious problems. And it's certain that we should avoid such decision biases. First way to overcome such problems is to develop a personal awareness about this issue. Monitor yourself all the time about your mental shortcuts, prejudices, and misconceptions. Question yourself as frequently as possible about your cultural stereotypes or biases. Second, you should slow down your own decision process. You must give yourself more time to know the other person more profoundly. Third, reconsider all the decisions you make about other people. Do it as much as you can. And finally, be aware and monitor the ill effects of such biases around you as much as you can. And finally, I want to suggest an unconventional way of minimizing the effects of our own conscious bias. Read literature, especially novels and stories about the adverse effects of prejudice, bias decisions, and stereotypes. When you spend some time to read and contemplate on such matters, your conscious mind will be most likely to catch you when you're about to give a biased decision based on wrong internal assumptions. Emotional stories, on the other hand, will educate your unconscious minds and eventually minimize the effects of your personal or cultural biases. This sure will take some time, but it's going to be worth it. Have a nice reading.